fifth time I've sat down to film this video. First three times I had lipstick on my teeth. The last time I just paused in the middle of it and it was awkward and horrible. So this time, this is, I'm not trying this again. This is what we got. So welcome back to my channel. I put out new videos randomly and in no particular order or anything like that. So I hope that you enjoy that. And today I have a very different kind of video except for the fact that it's not very different. And I say that every time, especially when I'm about to go on a rant or ramble about something, despite the fact that's most of my channel. So welcome to a very pretty much routine video for me. So this video is about feeling mediocre. Let me just preface this whole rant by saying, this is not me being ungrateful. I am not saying I have had, okay, I have had an amazing life and I'm not also trying to be braggy during this 20 seconds, but I have had an amazing life. I have amazing parents. I'm very close to my family. I have had all the opportunities in the entire world, more than anyone could ever even hope to have. I just, I've had a great life. That is not what this video is about at all. So please don't come at me and be like, you're ungrateful, oh my God. No, I, no, I'm really not. And I'm also not trying to brag. I know that there are people that are not close to their family. And, uh, you get what I'm saying. But this is for people that feel like they are amongst a realm of other people who are just thriving right now. So basically all my friends, or a lot of my friends anyway, they just know what they're doing with their lives. So they went to college for one specific thing and they got out of college and they found a job and they're doing it. I didn't have that experience so much. And I feel like so many people did that we, as the people that didn't feel like we're lacking in some way. And that really sucks. So like all my friends, got out of like like i said they got out of college and they just figured it out or they knew what they wanted to do at least maybe they didn't get a job in that field right away but they know what they're working towards they know what they want to do and i think a lot of people don't have that experience and not enough people talk about it because it can be extremely disheartening and really make you feel like the title of this video says mediocre or like you're not doing great or like you're not amounting to anything when that's not true at all. And I'm preaching to me just as much as I'm preaching to you, which is why I make these videos. <laughs> Honestly, I'm talking to me more than y'all, but I have just never been real, real good at anything. And I'm not trying to say this is not self depreciating, but I've never tried something and been really good at it just by happenstance. I never really picked up any sports. I was never awesome at art. I never really understood math. I just, none of that clicked for me ever, any of it. <laughs> like I did okay in everything. I really, I, I made it, I passed, I did fine, but I never kicked butt at one specific thing. And people make you, the world makes you feel like you need to. They make you feel like you have to find your one true calling and your purpose in life. And I just don't think that everyone has that experience. I think that some people have kids and they're like, this is what I was meant to be. I was meant to be a mom or a dad, or they find their job and they're like, this is perfect. I wake up every morning and I go to work and it is just ideal. It's everything I've ever wanted. And I think a lot of people don't have that kind of epiphany and they feel like they're doing poorly. That's where I'm at, honestly. And if you've only seen me through YouTube or Instagram, you might think that that's dumb because I lost a lot of weight and not a lot of people can say that. But at the same time, a lot of people have lost 200 pounds and end up being a personal trainer and a fashion like fitness guru. And I, I didn't do that. I just lost weight and carried on with my life. I didn't really become that weight loss person other than my one video on YouTube, which just didn't become my thing. And so this is for all the people that are sitting in the same place I am with a pretty okay life or even like, I mean, I have an amazing life. I'm, but for people that are just doing okay, you're just getting by, you're just doing your best and it's just barely making it sometimes. Like the best example I can give you is I had to take the GRE to get into grad school and I didn't get the score I needed to get and that was considered average and this is all very embarrassing, but whatever. And that made me feel horrible that I could not even get an average score on a test that they give you. Maybe I'm just not a good test taker or maybe I'm just not that great at what they were asking me, but like it makes you feel lesser than and it just really 
shouldn't be that way. So my personal opinion, because you came here and you want to know, obviously, is that maybe some people don't have their one true purpose in life. Maybe for some people, it's waking up every day and making the most of that day, and they find joy and happiness and purpose in a lot of little different things. I think that's most people, and the world makes you feel like that's not right. They make you feel like you need to find all the fulfillment in what you're doing, one specific thing, it just needs to be your thing, and I don't know, that's just not how my life seemed to work out. And so this is for all the people that feel that way. I think, you know, I don't think I'm anything, like I'm not, again, not self-depreciating, but I don't think I'm anything like rock star wise or anything like that. And people have commented on my videos and they're like, you've changed my life, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, me? Are you sure you're talking to me? You didn't mean to comment on like the next video. Maybe there's like a thread of weight loss videos and you're trying to talk to the next person. Like you're really listening to me and you think that? Like that blows my mind every single time. And when you really think about it, think about the amount of people you interact with on a daily basis that they think that about you and that you just don't know. So have you ever said like held the door for someone or said something nice to someone and it's just not that big of a deal to you? It's just kind of a mediocre, not big thing. For that person, maybe they were having like a horrible day and that just made their day and turned their life around. I mean, I'm not saying you opening someone's door is gonna turn their life around, but I'm just saying, don't think that because you're not out there curing cancer or finding all of your life's purpose doesn't mean that you're not making a difference in the world. That has been my biggest stress is that I'm not going to change anything, that I'm going to leave this earth when I'm 105 and nothing is going to be any different than it was when I got here. I'm also not going to sit here and think that I am the next, like God knows whatever, and I'm going to make all these huge advances and changes. I don't necessarily think that either, but I think that for a lot of people, doing good by people every day can be just as life-changing, if not sometimes more, than finding your one true purpose and living that out every single day and just doing, like, I don't know, maybe somewhere in between is where a lot of us fall and no one talks about it. And I wanna talk about it because it's getting to me and it makes me feel like lesser than, and I know there's other people out there that feel this way, so if you feel like that, we're in this together and I don't think that we are the minority in this. I think a lot of people feel this way. So that is what I have to say. That is my rant on feeling like you're just okay <laughs> because I think a lot of us are doing just okay and we shouldn't look down on that so much because it's a majority of people, I think. And I guess, my best advice to you and to myself is to not film a YouTube video when the Amazon guy is showing up. My advice to you and to myself is try and find purpose in every single day and by the end of your life, me speaking as 23 year old, obviously I know, I think that you will feel just as fulfilled as those people that found their all consuming purpose, if not more, I don't know but that's what I got for you today. So thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to comment and like and subscribe. And please, I mean, I open myself up for criticism by making these videos. So if you feel like this was a waste of your time and you just didn't really connect and this ramble really went nowhere for you, which like it didn't really go anywhere anyway, I'm sorry, but also it's your right to leave that comment. So please like bring on the hate or bring on the I feel the same way because I know it's not just me. And quite honestly, I know we're all gonna do just fine. My mom told me, so I know. <laughs> but anyway, have a great day. Please join me next time for my 50,000th version of the same video, I'm sure. <laughs>